Thanks for watching. You're looking at a good old fashioned American toilet. This is in my girl's bathroom and over time these toilet seats deteriorate. They don't last forever. In particular this one is a wood enameled toilet seat so those tend to be heavier uh, and, and tend to lose their cover and I'll show you what I mean when we'll I look up this. Uh, and you see underneath there is some loss of enamel. So it's time to replace this. Um, it's not a big deal, but if you've never done it before, it's always nice to watch someone else do it for the first time. So we're going to do that. First thing you're going to want to do when you replace a toilet seat is to buy a new one because you don't want to be without that piece of equipment. And you need to note a couple things. One thing you need to know, the size of your basin or the toilet bowl. And you know if it's round or oval. This one is obviously oval. Um, so I measured front to back, and that's, uh, the different standard is left to right pretty much where the hole starts to hold the hinges. Just and I went to the store and bought a new one, and here's what they look like. This is a wood enameled, and down below it says fits 19 inch elongated toilet bowls only. So that's what I want. And it also says down here, does not fit, fit round bowls. Uh, you also want to match the color. This one looks a little bit like bone, but it's actually white, uh, and that'll match the white, which I did beforehand, so I'm not totally disgusted. Or you can always wear uh, some gloves to get in there, because you're going to be underneath to unscrew some things. So I'll show you what you're going to do. First thing on top, you see these plastic covers. So let's just pull right off. <clears throat> Underneath those, if you can get on the light, you'll see some Phillips head looking screw things. Uh, that's how it, the, the lid is held in place. So you need to undo those from the top and hold the bottom piece, and I'm going to show you the bottom in a second. The piece right there, that's a wing nut on a plastic nut. I'm going to go ahead and see if I can just loosen that with my hand. But i got to be careful because this top piece may turn. So we're going to need a Phillips screwdriver, I think, to hold this part still while I loosen the bottom one with my hand. So I'm going to go get a screwdriver, and we'll be right back. The camera's now on a tripod, so I can show you what it looks like. You're going to hold the top still with some sort of a Phillips screwdriver. That's the type of screwdriver I need for this one. And underneath, I'm going to try to twist. Come on. Well, it's easier, I guess, in this case, to hold the bottom and, and use the screwdriver. There we go. And no matter how good of a housekeeper you are, when you pull this hinge off, there's going to be some grime and stuff you missed over the, over the years. So be prepared for that. going to need these just going to throw them away and you might want to have a bleach wipe ready to go but we'll just slide this off and not too bad so that's how you remove the old toilet bowl lid while the camera was off I took a bleach wipe and some Lysol and cleaned up around those holes because this is your only really good chance until you change your bowl lid again in the future uh, looking down here a little bit closer at the bowl um, this should come with everything you need to install it but you want to read in the back to make sure and this one says it comes with the bolt, the slider, a rubber pad, and a nut. Uh, that's everything you need. All you're going to need is a large tip screwdriver or a nut driver. Um, so we're going to open this up. By the way, I think we paid, price-wise, uh, just around $15 at a big box store. Here in the Midwest, that could be like a Lowe's or a Home Depot or even a, a Menards. So here's what you see when you open up the bowl. It's got this already attached to the lid. The hinge will work fine. That's what you want. And here's the plastic hardware. Almost no one uses metal hardware for these home uses unless it's a big industrial use. Uh, plastic will be just fine. I read the directions quick and they're pretty universal, but this one is a little bit different than, than most. You've got the uh, top piece that's going to go uh, over here and you have these sliders, these little pieces of like rubber that are going to go in the holes that you see there and that will just help it from sliding around because uh, you don't want to have a, a loose seat. So those will go on first and we'll attach it. Here's another view. Everything put together. What we're going to have is this piece of rubber is going to go on top of the porcelain bowl over the hole. This piece here uh, is going to be what holds the nut or the bolt through and then this will go through the actual porcelain and on the underside is going to be 
the nut that's going to cinch this tight so it doesn't slide around. You'll see, if I pull this bolt out, that it can slide up or down about a quarter inch each way. That's to make sure, in case you want to, in case you have a bolt that's just a little bit different than standard, you can slide it forward or slide it back just to make a nice flush, no pun intended, um, front edge of the bowl with the lid right there. So I'm just going to put these together right now. Uh, also, you want to note that the square piece goes in the back, so this will face the back of the commode. So we'll take them over here and just set them in place. And it's ready to go. Quick put the other one and together. In place, square towards the rear. No pun intended again. I got a million today. And these are again are plastic Phillips um, type uh, connectors. Put this down below and you can just hold it with one hand while using a screwdriver to do that. That's what I'm going to do. So uh, rather than bore you with more of that banjo music, I'll just come back once I've secured both these on. One other nugget of information. You see how this bolt is uh, tapered towards one end? That's the side that's going to go up so it'll cinch tightly into the hole uh, down here. So make sure this part goes up, this tapered part. Once those are both on, you don't want to tighten them all the way. Uh, you never want to go over tight anyway because you're going to strip this little plastic uh, screw head right there. So just mostly tighten them because you want to slide them up and down to adjust to your toilet seat. This particular toilet seat is a Tuscany and they use a little bit different thing. If I show you the receiving end of the hinge support right there, you see how it has that groove right there on either side, right there? Those go on each side and those are actually going to go in like a filing cabinet drawer or a dresser drawer into the groove that you see right there. So that's how it fastens on there, then it'll clip tight. So I'll do that, I'll back up to show you. Here we go. Should just slide into place. You see how it does that? Whoop, I had to hold this one a little bit. And then before you tighten anything else, here's that little bit of adjustability I was talking about um, with going forward and back. To your preference now, whatever you normally like your seat at, that's where you slide it up and down. When you're all done with that, then you go ahead and tighten it. So I think we're good there. So I'm going to use my screwdriver to hold this up again, do a little final tightening. Again, not over tight. We saw it wiggle because we're not complete. We still have to push these caps down. 